Cancer, how are you? Welcome to Carmelite Readings, I'm Alexandra. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, visiting my channel, I appreciate it. If you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe. Um, this is gonna be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we're gonna take a look at what's going on in your life for September 2021. <clears throat> forgive me. If you're new here again, welcome. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for a very large collective. So it's very normal and natural for some, none, or all of this reading to resonate with you. Um, if at any time this does resonate with you, please go ahead and hit that like button so that other cancers can enjoy this. Um, what else? Oh, if you're interested in weekly readings or live collective readings, I do that on my Instagram page. That information is in the description box below. And if this resonates and you're interested in a personal reading, I do offer personal readings and that information is in the link below as well. We're gonna go ahead and get started here with my blessing. I do suggest that you stay for the blessing as it um, helps the reading resonate with you if you listen to it, it's just part of my gift. Just lighting my sage here. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for cancer in regards to their current life situation, life journey, and soul purpose. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception on what soul lessons and soul cycles cancer may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, feel from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Okay. So while I was shuffling, <clears throat> yeah, even right now, when I cleared my throat, it was interesting. I was given a vision. As soon as I cleared my throat, I was shown, I was shown a ball of energy just going away. That's my symbol that I think for a long time you guys have been trying to get past a certain block or there's been something specific that has been hindering your growth. Let's move this other thing. Um, there's been something that's been hindering your growth in a particular area in your life. And recently, or this month in September, it's going to be very easy for you to let it go and release it. I, I feel it's going to be some type of awakening. You're going to go through some type of experience where it just all of a sudden you're able to let it go and it's not holding you back or affecting you as strongly anymore. Okay. Interesting. You have the Prince of Wands as a current energy surrounding you, and your challenge is the Prince of Cups. Um, these are the Knights, okay? Then you have the Empress as the root cause. Recent past, you have the Nine of Swords. The energy trying to come into you is the Page of Wands, the Princess of Wands. Immediate future, you have the Magician. Where you're at right now is the Hermit, so we have Virgo energy here. Outside energy towards you is the Ace of Pentacles. Hopes and Fears is the Four of Wands. Probable outcome, Five of Wands. Let me take a look at the story between. And bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. So overall energy is the Queen of Wands. This is you stepping into your power. This is you learning the vibration on which your soul seeks to be on, right? The highest level. This is you creating, manifesting. I feel that you uh, right now are very focused on family, but, but very focused on loyalty, okay? Very focused on who is for you and who is not for you. Okay, I feel that you're looking at situations, um, I don't want to say like under a microscope, but you're looking at situations in a deeper way than you have before because you're realizing that the only way you're going, excuse me, the only way you're going to come to any answers or conclusions that you're seeking 
is going to come from within you, right? You're no longer seeking answers or guidance from the outside. Now you're like, okay, what can I do? <clears throat> what do I need to be aware of? So what I have here, I do have your energy on the table here with the chariot, but to tell me the story about this situation in the past, you have the universe, despair, stability, resilience, and the chariot okay so the universe is uh like the world card ten of swords four of discs nine of wands and the chariot so there was a particular situation this situation that we're looking at in the past where you have felt very um defeated betrayed you were hoping for some type of alignment to take place for some type of truth you wanted things something wasn't adding up that's what i keep seeing something wasn't adding up <clears throat> you were unable to really gain the foundation or the stability or the connection that you wanted with this situation and or person. It's interesting though, because you're connected to this person. So this could be a family member or maybe you have children with this person, but there's some type of connection that makes it very hard to let go and fully detach and walk away. Okay. But through these situations in the past, where there was betrayal, where there was cause for concern, you got back up and charged forward. You started to take control of your life, okay? You made a decision in what direction you wanted your life to go, Cancer. Some of you could be moving, like actually like, you know, moving houses, not just moving away from this person. So you have the Prince of Wands and the Prince of Cups as your challenge, instigation and introspection. It's like I said, you're trying to find an answer. You have an idea, you have this thought, something that sparks your passion, and you are turning your back on something and you want to move in a new direction, but it's causing conflict because there's another energy involved here that feels as though you are turning your back on them and the challenge is, like I said, you're going within. But I do feel like you're having a hard time when you go within, when you go within to meditate. There's an offer on the table here. There's something that you want. For some of you, this is a pregnancy that's kind of gotten in the way because you have the Empress here and the Page of Cups. So for some of you, it was like an unexpected pregnancy came along or something new, a new beginning, and it's hindering your ability to create and build the life that you want you you want to move in this direction yet yeah, the nine of swords which is what you have in the recent past so there's a lot of fears and there's a lot of illusions taking place right now that you are trying to cipher through clarify the empress please for the root cause i do feel that for uh, uh whatever collective i'm connecting to this is a pregnancy whether it was yours or someone else's there's an unexpected birth or creation here that's coming in, okay? It doesn't have to be a child. Uh, you know, pregnancy can be in the form of a spiritual awakening. You're pregnant with your new being. You're, so just keep that in mind, or maybe you have an idea. Whatever it is, it's blocking you. Clarify the Empress. Ten of, it's family, Ten of Pentacles. And here's the Knight of Cups again. I think that you are moving in a direction of <clears throat> aligning your life and this, this issue here regarding commitment, stability, or family, money, wealth, it, it, things were starting to go well as far as money and wealth. And then this offer here, because you have the Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups twice, some type of love message or love offer was not allowing you to get into alignment with where you wanted to be. You've had a lot of fear regarding this situation in the past, a lot of sleepless nights. I feel that every time you lay down, it's like you're just constantly thinking of things that may have happened or what could go wrong based on what had gone wrong, okay? I feel like for some of you, you kind of want to break free. Maybe some of you got proposed to or there was like a connection here where for a long time you wanted it and now you're realizing it's not aligning with your journey. It's not aligning with your path. 
because the energy that's coming into you now is the page of wands. You, I think some of you felt trapped. Again, I do feel like some of you are moving here, okay? Moving to a whole new area. But with the princess of wands, it says exploration. And I feel like you're trying to explore all that life has to offer all the opportunities which direction can you go it's not just one it's not just two right clarify the princess of wands please Mister. page of swords so This is something that's new that's coming into you, okay? This idea, something that you've been wanting to do for a while. I think that these are thoughts that are forming in your mind. It's almost like you are pulling your dreams down to create them. Just hit myself there. Um, but you're pulling them down to create them. I do feel like you struggle with communicating this dream or communicating this opportunity that you want because it's still very new to you. So you are keeping things to yourself. There's an energy that's coming in right now that you don't fully trust. That's what spirit is showing me. You don't fully trust this energy that's coming in. I think that it's causing you a lot of confusion. It's causing you, <clears throat> it's making you feel as though there is deception or manipulation involved. Like you don't really want to fully invest because you know that there's something missing. Okay. In the immediate future, you have the magician creating something out of nothing. All the tools that you need are within you. And I feel like you're realizing that you're going to start taking <clears throat> back control, taking your power back, which is why the queen of wands is here. Clarify the magician, please. Yep. Queen of Pentacles, foundation, self-care. What you want, what you're trying to manifest, you're going to bring it down. You don't have time for games anymore. You're choosing yourself. You're choosing your purpose. You're choosing what aligns to you. And if it doesn't align with someone else, you're okay with that. Yeah, because your current energy is the hermit. Interesting because your challenge was introspection here with the Prince of Cups. So I feel like right now you're doing a lot of inner thinking, a lot of inner research, um, trying to figure out what does this situation mean to you. I'm also getting the energy that this particular situation that Spirit is having us connect to, ha you know, has caused a lot of grief. That's what we're seeing here with the 10 and the nine of swords. Um, it's like you're trying to search for any good reason to stay. And in the past, you could find those good reasons. They were always there. And now all of a sudden it's like, I can't find a reason for me to stay. I can't find a reason for me to stay attached to this. Um, and that's because you are taking back your power. You are stepping into the truth of who you are. You're becoming aligned. Clarify the hermit, please, for Cancer's current energy. I do feel that you've been isolated. You may not have been wanting to talk to a lot of people lately. You may not have been as outgoing as you are uh, usually. Clarify the hermit, please. Not wanting to talk to people who may cause arguments or conflict. Yeah, the sun. You are being shown the light here. Two of cups on a commitment, on a soulmate union. You're looking for the light here. You're looking for the light. But I do see there's a struggle. But the light is going to be shown on this particular union. So for some of you, there could be an engagement taking place. Okay, that's what it, with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. And here's that Four of Cups or Four of Pentacles again with the Ten of Cups. So again, stability within your emotions, stability within your physical material world, stability within your connection. The outside energy coming towards you is an offer of wealth. You have the Ace of Pentacles. This could be a new job. I also do feel like for some of you, this could be that engagement or this commitment, wanting to move in with each other, wanting to finally build on that foundation 
that I see there's some cycles here. So you may have been dealing with this person or this situation for some time. And now it's like they're finally meeting you on the level that you wanted them to meet you on. But you're not so sure. Okay. Because I do see hesitation here. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. There's that page of wands again. Yeah, it's like you're not sure about it because it's a young offer, but they do want a new beginning with you with the Fool and then the World card again. It's like they're worried that they're going to lose you. But you're still viewing it as somebody who is not quite prepared, not ready, not on your level, okay? And this is somebody that you may have been not communicating with, not speaking with. But I see that you feel very connected to this person. Your hopes and fears is the four of wands. You do want a stable, aligned life with this person. You do want a family life. <clears throat> you do want to be able to celebrate the joys of this journey with this person. You do want that happily ever after, but you're also very fearful of it because of what has happened. And I feel, Cancer, that you're in this energy of let me create it for myself first. Let me create it for myself first. Click for the four of wands for hopes and fears. Yeah, seven of cups. There's so much going on within you. Seven of cups, six of wands and the Ten of Wands. You, <laughs> no matter what, you're gonna be victorious, okay? No matter what, what needs to happen, what Spirit is trying to get you to do, here's the Ace of Wands with the lovers here. So Air, Energy, Gemini here as well. Um, this person is coming in with an offer. You have some type of reconciliation, a passionate new beginning, something that really reignites the fire inside of you but you, there's still a lot of unanswered questions and that's what's causing you to struggle with this particular situation with the seven of cups it's like you have this main offer coming in this main you know new beginning but there's so much stuff behind it and spirit is saying if you can just tie up all the things you've been through in the past tie it in a neat little package and set it aside and stop letting the past affect your now moment, you will be able to create something that is very successful, that is um, evolving, that it represents growth, stability, and it will bring in that four of wands, that celebration. The outcome is the five of wands, conflict and competition. Feeling as though, you know, others are against you, that they're not wanting to see you win, that they're not actually as happy for you as they say. Clarify the five of wands, please, for the outcome, probable outcome. Seven of wands, yep. You feel like you have to prove yourself to someone because this is a defensive energy. It's a defensive energy, seven of wands with Scorpio energy here with the death card and the eight of wands. I also feel like a lot of this is mental conflict, okay? Because you have the two of swords on the bottom. So unable to make a decision because you're going through this awakening here with the death card. You're in this tunnel. You're trying to get to the light. It's like I said, you're searching for a reason to stay. You're looking for the light. But there's some things that you need to put your foot down, that you need to set boundaries, that you are you know, still, it's still lingering. Issues from the past situations where you felt betrayed, where things ended and you tried to pick back up and then you were still betrayed. So I do see movement, okay? Somebody is moving. Could just be that you're moving away from the situation and that's your final decision. For others of you, you're physically moving. But I see here that should you choose to allow yourself time to make the proper decision, 
with this two of swords, sit and meditate, sit in silence and really go through this. You will find this 10 of cups is inside of here, but you know, unconditional love, which is that 10 of cups is about creating space for mistakes. It's knowing that perfection does not exist. It's knowing that if you love somebody, you can work through something that you can heal together but it takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage. Holy Spirit, closing messages, please, in regards to this situation for cancer. Wait, it's like I said, just wait. There is a reason why things are paused. There's something better. Now, this doesn't mean there's something better and you're walking away from this. For some of you, it does. But I feel like if you wait, you're going to discover a higher perception, a higher purpose and understanding and be able to create something better. Reconsider, reconsider what you're feeling and thinking right now. Reconsider the situation. Let go of the baggage. Let go of any emotional baggage. Let go of the past because all of those past experiences are done. They're over. And the more you stay in that energy, you have recovery as well because you need to recover from the past. That's what this Two of Swords is. The more you stay in the energy of the past, the more your body believes that it's actually recurring, that it's happening. Your body doesn't know the difference between a memory and reality. So it's up to you to make sure, okay, am I in a, a, a space of stress from something that ha is over and done? Or am I in a space of peace and I'm able to make a solid um, commitment or a solid decision and my discernment is clear? All right, Cancer, I'm sending you guys so much love and I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Bye.